So we've got the little Aldis Explore 304. It's the 2018. And we're going to do this as a bit of a, a review slash handover and show you how it all works. Um, we've, we do like these little Explorers. They're a nice, compact little van. You would not believe, looking at it, that that's a four berth. thousand and forty three kilograms maximum weight uh, it's 18 foot 02 uh, from very very front to very very back internal sort of length 12 foot 12 foot and it's four berth that is crazy so on the side there we've got our electrics 12 volt and 240 in the front we've got our gas bottles so we've got the room for two gas bottles and this is set up on the propane so the red gas bottles just always remember when you do these up into your gas bottle it's an opposite thread and then your electrics are set up on 13 pin electrics and we've got the alco stabilized hitch head on there all the alco chassis so um the running gear and everything is all the alco we've then got the whale water heater um and heating system fitted in this one whale water pump just plugs straight into the side there and then our fridge vents and then all of our wastewater just comes out of there so our sort of sink our shower that's all going to come out of there there's nothing else to really shout about on the outside it, it is just it is what it is it's just a nice small little van got our cassette toilet hidden behind the door um I don't suppose it's really a pain, is it, having it out into the awning? But that's the only that's the only thing with these is it's out into the awning. Oh, um, I suppose because when you got your awning up and you need to empty the loo, it's a bit. Well, yeah, but then if it's raining, you're inside the awning, so it's not mm. you're nice and dry. Um, so filler for your flush water is that one, and then a little drain off valve for the flush water is this one, and then obviously you can set as standard just underneath there. Let's have a look how they fit all of this four berth into this tiny little van. Um, it's every, every time I walk into these, it's still, it blows my mind how it's a four berth, how they fit four berths into this tiny little van and not feel like you're all sort of cramped up and on top of each other. It's still a roomy van. I think there's enough room for four people to sit around on this seating, isn't there? It's that nice L-shaped lounge, isn't it? That it, uh, makes it more spacious. It I makes. Think. A huge, huge difference. Have you noticed something? The cleaner's now started to. He's watching the videos, isn't he? The cleaner is now starting to put microwave plates underneath the seat <laughs> in preparation <laughs> because he knows that that's what we're going to do when we go and do our little handover video. So he's learning. He's learning. That's smart, mm, that is. Uh, don't know whether Kev's learning. We'll see. So that makes into a double bed at the front, and again, it's a nice, comfy double bed. It just literally pulls out from the front. All our electrics, yeah. so trip switches, fuses just underneath of there, and then we've got our boiler, we've got our fridge, nice amount of storage space, that's a big storage space, and then we've got our freestanding table. Um, you'd, have, you'd have expected for a small little van, it's only going to be small little people, and they wouldn't need all that room, really, <laughs> but, um, I'd be perfect, wouldn't I? So we've got our bunk bed that falls down, should we have a look at how that works properly and see? what that's like so we've got our proper bunk bed we've got that's our easy, ladder dead easy yeah two second job um there is little support guards here as well that fold up just to stop you falling out of bed when you've got drunk obviously the kids aren't going to get drunk but if you're a small person and you've been out drinking and using that bed then you might fall out when you're drunk so um not suitable for children under six years without supervision. So if you're out, if you're under six, you've got to sleep on there with the kids. That's what that means, isn't it? Yeah. Or you've got to stand there and watch them all night. <laughs> yeah, you've got to watch them all night. Oh, really. I don't know whether that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, putting back up, just dead easy. Uh, literally just straight up. There's a little light there as well. So we've got a little light and then obviously this bottom one makes into a little another little bed uh, we've got our little light we've got a little 230 volt plug socket down there so we can charge our phones bits and bobs like that nice amount of 230 volt sockets by the kitchen area uh, another little light switch got little spotlights underneath uh, little roof light um so plenty of like, it doesn't feel by your tv right? again, so the little table there's a unit there as well Nicely, nicely finished off fun, isn't it, this? Uh, let's have a look at some of the controls. So, 
we've got our sort of master power on and off, our lights on and off. The radio is going to come on now, isn't it? All in light on and off. This is where we'll put our water pump on and off. And obviously, I'll go into that in a second. Before we put that water pump on, we want to make sure our drain valve is in the correct position. Uh, we've then got our water heating. So again, we need to make sure that this is off before we get our water through basically so make sure you've got the water through the system before you put this water heating on um, but we'd literally then click it and we've got gas we've got gas and electric gas and electric higher setting or off uh, and then we've got electric and electric on two kilowatts and then gas gas and electric Gas and electric on two kilowatts, or back off again. Uh, so really easy to use that one. Our heating, so we've got gas, we've got electric on one kilowatt, electric on two kilowatts, electric on three kilowatts, and then we can set the temperature of how hot we want that system to blow the heat around the caravan. Um, so again, really, really easy to, to use. Uh, and if you are a smaller person, you should just be able to <laughs> should just be able to reach that. Um, so nice, easy. Our water pump, as I say, is in the sink at the moment. That would plug into the side into your aqua roll. Just underneath of this seat, then is a drawer. Um, <laughs> so see our little yellow right, drain off valve yeah. right at the back there. And um, so at the moment, that's pointing into the upright position. Um, which I believe is ready to use and then if we wanted to drain the water down we flick it over to the side no I'm telling you wrong so that in the upright position uh, for the drain off is draining your water system down and then when you want to use the system we're going to put that flat and that is now ready to get the water through the system so make sure that that is in the correct position before we start trying to get the water through the caravan and um, once we're in that position we can then get that water through the system run all of your taps through uh, make sure you've got a nice constant flow of the water and then we can put that hot water system on um, to get our gas through the system the easiest way is on our hob and then we've got the grill and oven combined on these so so over to the right hand side is going to do our grill at the top so we can do our toast etc and then the oven is over to the left hand side and again our little igniter on here that will do our hob and our grill and oven as well our fridge nice and easy so our on and off on our fridge is just our first button we've then got electric gas or on the battery when we're towing and then to set the temperature of our fridge is just one there back off again it's just literally hold that in and um, so really really easy to use this one we've got the microwave now this has got the eco microwave so to wake the microwave up we have to press our eco button and then it will work and uh, if you don't press that eco button you're going to be there pressing all the buttons and nothing's going to happen so make sure that you've pressed that and again like I say the cleaner it's already he's, he's one step ahead he's already taken the microwave plate out of there uh, and put it safe for travel and then we've got our lovely washer look at that sink it's how nice cool sink, is that that Smart. is shoot if you're really small you could have a bath in there <laughs> don't know about that to be honest but uh, there aren't many of these little vans that actually come with a the microwave they don't normally bother no. putting them in do they yeah. so that's quite nice it's a uh, really really well spec little caravan this one um lots of storage and again you've got storage all underneath of these seats here um the front ones and the back ones little curtain that goes around so you get all the storage underneath of there so yeah a uh, nice little van hopefully you've enjoyed our little review stroke explanation of how everything works on this little Elvis Explore 304. Hopefully I've not offended you if you're small, um, because I'm not that big actually, so um, yeah, I'll be for dig myself a bigger hole. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place. You only need a small hole. True, very true. <laughs>